Good morning. Uh, today we are going to learn in geomorphology is about volcanic landforms. Volcanoes. What do you understand by volcanoes? Uh, let's try to, you know, uh, first take up that. Okay. So to start with defining volcanoes, volcanoes uh, or the vent is is kind of a vent in the crust of earth and another, you know, or any uh, planet or, you know, by you have a vent which comes out. Uh, we have volcanoes not only on the earth, but also on the planetary other, you know, uh, planets as well as, uh, you know, the satellite uh, planets of, of the you know, solar system. So, which, uh, the, you know, which uh, issues in eruption of molten rocks, hot lava fragments and hot gases. So, volcanic eruption is an, you know, a, a beautiful display or an uh, awesome display of, you know, power of the planetary, uh, you know, engine or, you know, power heat which is coming out. Or even like if you see on the surface of the earth, it is earth's power which winds out from the crust. So, yet, uh, while eruption is a, you know, a, a spectacular uh, scene to be watched, they can cause, just you know, uh, losses, destruction. Uh, with you know accumulation of gas, um, uh, volcanic gas, which is rich in you know lava, magma, molten rocks, uh, in you know reserves near the earth surfaces. So they can uh, you know proceed by emission of system you know steam and gases from you know small vents in in the ground. So swarms of small earthquakes like you know. Uh, which may be caused by you know rising plug of you know dense viscous uh, magma and oscillating against the uh, you know sheath of you know molten uh, or permeable magma which is uh, you know which you know may also signal that volcanic eruption especially explosive ones are in the way so in some cases magma rises in you know uh, conduct you know in the duct to you know surface uh, with a thin and you know fluid lava, so you know flows out of continuous or you know air like a fountain. Whereas in other cases, you will see that entrapped gases uh, tears the magma into shreds and uh, <clears throat> the uh, you know viscous uh, clot of uh, lava into the air. So it is more like a you know uh, eruption. It is more like a blast. So more violent, it is in it is more violent eruption. The magma, uh, you know, conduct is uh, cored by an explosive blast, and solid fragments are ejected in a great cloud of ash laden gases that rises tens of thousands of meters high into the air. So one uh, feared phenomena, uh, uh, you know, comparing uh, one of the explosive uh, you know, eruption is that is new ice and tare that is you know pyroclastic flow and it is a fluidized mixture of hot gases and in incident uh, you know uh, particles that sweeps down the volcanic flank and uh, you know uh, it, it increase incarnate everything into its part so it incinerating it everything into its part that is coming so because it is mixed with you know, hot steaming gas and water, and you know, and, uh, and the you know pyroclastic uh, materials in it. It has a very high temperature, so it has the you know ability to incinerate anything in its way. Incinerate means uh, you know, ca catching fire. Uh, great uh, destruction also can result when uh, you know uh, ashes collect on high uh, snow field or glacial areas. So melting uh, it into a melt, uh, which will result into melting of a larger, uh, you know, water and uh, ice into water in a large quantity, causing floods and flash floods. So, uh, so it can rush down the volcano slopes, and you know, it can uh, cause into mud flow, which is more dangerous in that way. So, uh, to be you know, precisely speaking, the term volcano uh, means a vent of you know from which magma and other substances erupt to the surface but it uh, can also refer to as the landform created by the accumulation of solidified lavas and volcanic debris near the vent 
so one can say with an example that a large lava flow erupt uh, eruption of you know moa lava volcano in hawaiian island uh, referring here is uh, uh, that the vent uh, but one can also say that moa lava is gently sloping volcano of a greater size so it is in reference to in in, in case of you know landforms the so volcanic landforms have evolved over time as a result of you uh, know repeated volcanic activities like mauna loa uh, type of volcanoes uh, which is you know specifically uh, you know shield type of volcano which is a large gentle slope landform a build up from many eruptions of fluid lava so mount fuji in japan is entirely a different formation of volcano so with a you know striking steep uh, slope on the sides with the build up of layers of ashes and lava mount fuji is like a strato volcano iceland uh, provides a fine example of you know volcanic plateau which uh, uh, you know uh, while the you know sea floor Uh, around the iceland provides a um, excellent example of submarine volcanic structures so uh, here if you see here in the image you will see the, these are like hawaiian types of volcanoes these are you know again icelandic type of volcanoes and this is continental type of volcanoes okay so here when you see the magmas are moving apart in the direction the cracks and crevices are you know venting uh, letting out uh, the uh, you know volcanoes uh, or the lava to come out into as a into the you know vent so this is more like a rift volcano okay so oh, it is more uh, in the mid ocean ridge ridges in uh, you will find across these areas so strato volcano tend to form subduction zone or you know uh, uh, you know convergent uh, plate by, uh, margin whereas ocean plate slides beneath a continental plate and uh, contributes to the rise of magma to the surface so uh, a rift zone uh, or you know divergent margin shield volcano uh, tend to form as two volcanic plates pull uh, slowly apart and you know uh, magma effuses upwards you know it slowly up, uh, upward magma moves away So it's more like a shield type of volcanoes. Okay, uh, so uh, it tends to you know infuse upward through the gaps or crevices or cracks. And volcanoes are not generally found in the strike slip zone where two plates slide uh, lateral past each other. So uh, it is more like a hot spots. Okay, so volcano may uh, you know form from plume of lava. arising from you know deep within the mantle of the earth uh crust uh, to form a plate margin so this is called plume okay this is called plume a region so it is uh, making the lava man um, uh, come up into the uh, near the surface that's why it's a continental type of volcanoes so volcano lamp features and extensive igneous uh, you know uh, volcanoes before that let me uh, tell you that uh, volcanoes are very closely related to what a plate uh, associated with plate tectonic activities okay so um, plate tectonic activities that is mostly most volcanoes such as you know japan i uh, iceland uh, occurs on the margin of the enormous solid rocky plates that makes up earth surface Uh, other volcanoes such as uh, those of hawaiian islands occur in the middle of the um, of a plate providing important evidence as to the direction of the plate of uh, you know motion okay so if you see uh, like time and again i have been uh, showing you an image like all around the pacific belt you have a ring of fire uh that is very seismically very active and also you will come across many active volcanoes in these areas okay so uh, the study of volcano and the products is also known as volcanology uh these phenomena are not only realm of only single scientific discipline rather it it implies for various uh, you know disciplines including in it like you know geophysics geochemistry and all and so on uh, 
so who probes the deep root of volcanoes and you know uh, monitor significance of you know future eruption geologists who decipher prehistoric volcanic activities infers like you know nature of you know feature of you know, eruption biologist who uh, learns about the plants and animals uh, uh, colonized you know recently erupted uh, uh, volcanic rocks and also uh, you know metro uh, meteorologist who you know determine the effect of volcanic dust and gases on the atmosphere and the weather uh, or climatic conditions so clearly uh, you know um, a destructive potential of you know volcanoes is you know trend, is in a very uh, high scale so but uh, the risk of the people living near can be reduced significantly by assessing the volcanic hazards so we have uh, you know monitoring value activities and uh, forecasting uh, eruption and uh, you know um, in stringing uh, you know procedures of evacuation uh, of the population in addition to uh, you know studying uh, you know volcanism and how it is going to behave so volcanism provides uh, you know mm -hmm. uh, a scenario uh, that you know it also has a ability to fertile the soil value uh, minerals deposit it gets onto the surface geothermal energy it is you know you can tap geothermal en energy near volcanic um, sites over you know geological time scale uh, volcanoes um, recycle earth uh, high you know hydrosphere and atmosphere and also uh you know lithosphere into all together sorry okay so uh before uh, you know uh, i start explaining you various types of you know extru uh, extrusive types of volcanoes and types of volcanoes let's understand certain mm -hmm. terminologies like lava gases and other hazards related to it hmm. just hold on huh So, uh, when we are talking about lavas, gases, and other hazards, the list of you know hazards which is associated with lava flow, that is you know explosion, toxic gases, clouds, ashes, uh, you know, uh, then you have uh, ash falls, you know, pyroclastic flow, avalanches triggered by you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, because of you know, uh, if a mountain is you know. Uh, it's a volcanic mountain and there's a lot of snow around there so it can trigger avalanches landslides okay so uh, even you know tsunamis and mud flows okay so uh, these are you know uh, immediate danger which is associated with volcanic activity and the procedure uh, which affects such property damage um, are, are like property damage crop losses you know uh, change in weather and climatic pattern these hazards have a very long term as well as short term uh, effect and losses uh, the root zone of volcanic uh, volcanoes is also found some you know about 70 to 200 kilometers below the surface of the earth so the earth's upper mantle temperature are higher enough to melt rock uh, from the magma so these uh, you know uh, depth magma is generally less dense uh, than the solid rock surrounded uh, overlying it so it uh, is you know rise towards the surface by the buoyant uh, forces of the uh, gravity uh, in some cases as in the you know undersea zone there are tectonic plates of earth crust uh, are you know spreading magma may move directly up to the surface through fissures okay so we have just hold on.
so we have you know uh extrusive igneous volcanoes uh no uh, igneous steps of rocks which we come out uh, like land features that is cinder cone cinder cone uh, type of volcanoes are you know structured like this it is uh, you know by the compilation of the very cinder or uh, you know ashes which is depositing on the edge of the uh, volcanic vent okay that is cinder volcanoes then you have shield volcano it is like you know by layer wise layer uh, the um, lava flow is uh, accumulating that is more like a shield so as a layer it is going on so that is shield volcano uh, strato composite volcanoes are you know where you first of all strato means height so it will be a high high mountain like you know volcanic peaks with you know multiple vents coming from its you know various parts that is you know composite volcanoes where you have different vents coming out on from the body of the main world you know composite wall uh, volcanic bodies so you will not be able to uh, you know determine very clearly like which is the main vent and which are the composite volcanic uh, structure which is coming out from the uh, around okay so uh, then we have lava dome okay it is again you know uh, more shaped like in a uh, volcano is erupting but uh, there's a you know uh, plank on top of the layer so it, the feature rises up slowly so that is lava dome caledria uh, volcanic neck and volcanic hot spots okay so uh, cinder volcanoes uh, uh, or cinder cones are relatively small uh, cone-shaped hills, um, and uh, they are, you know, because formed because of the accumulation of cinder or ash during the volcanic eruption. So the cinder forms uh, from the bursting bubbles of gases in the magma that uh, eject lava into the air. The summit may be, you know, tuchinated uh, uh, or you know, blow. Uh, bowl shape the summit means the inner part will be like a bowl shape like this okay and uh, where the magma emerges from the from a single central vent of the volcanoes the cinder cone are formed from a accumulation of ejected uh, terra or scora rocks okay terra scora rocks uh, ejected from these cones Okay, so Terrasora uh, occurs in a range of different size from fine ashes to large volcanic rock fragments. So once the magma is, you know, ejected into the air, it cools and, you know, hardens and is, you know, decomposed on the, you know, summit or slope of the cinder cone. So the uh, pyroclastic terra or, you know, uh, you know, scora uh, rocks are produced from uh, the uh, gas rich uh, basaltic magma uh, and are usually reddish, brownish, or blackish in color. So, the cinder cone generally forms from a single volcanic uh, episode and are rarely associated with eruption, La you know, that is lasting more than about uh, more than a decade. Okay, so cinder cone can be found in combination with shield and strato volcano, and can uh, occur at a uh, you know convergent or divergent plate boundaries. Okay, so cinder cone are the most common type of volcanoes and often occurs in large number with a region forming a volcanic shield. Uh, you know, flag uh, stuff. Arizona contains a volcanic. Uh, Field near, uh, you know, of a nearly uh, sixty uh, cinder cones, and cinder cones have a easily recognized hill shape from uh, relatively to you know steep thirty to forty degree uh, slope angulating, and the angle represents the steepness of that maintains the consolidated loss of the material, and commonly referred to as an angle of response. The image of an the old uh, cinder cone with a small cinder uh, also uh, you know it, it, on a depression on the summit is shown here so if you see here it has a uh, you know uh, a slope a quite a, a moderate slope and a slope uh, and a bowl like shape on the summit summit all right 
so that is your uh, cinder cone okay now shield volcano shield volcanoes are broad shaped mountain uh, land features built by accumulation of field uh, basaltic lava so these uh, shapes are often uh, very gentle and may be of uh, less than or more than you know 50 degrees and their summit or peaks are relatively flatter by you know uh, as they receive their names because uh, they you know gently domed from the uh, resembles uh, the extension of a warrior's shield so it more look like a warrior shields that's why it is called shield volcano so it, it this is uh, the image of a shield volcano okay so this is because of the la different layering of, of you know volca uh, volcanic ashes that is going on all right a uh, shield volcano usually have either smooth or uh, rocky uh, or you know uh, uh, lava or you know blocky sh shaped uh, lava or or you can see it it is either smooth like this or in a with chunky like this in the picture which is shown the shield volcanoes uh, form largest volcanoes on the earth okay then we have strato volcanoes strato volcanoes are referred to as you know composite cones uh, are you know largely near the uh, you know symmetrical mountains uh, landforms uh, formed by combination of lava flow and intense pyroclastic uh, eruption so the eruption are uh, violent and the ejected material is you know primarily a gas rich with you know high visco viscosity uh, and viscous magma with and you know uh, and uh, com uh, and um, uh, with an asteric uh, composite eruption can also produce an extensive ash deposit in it so the most strato volcanoes are located on the ring of fire which is you know geographically known zone for the rim of pacific uh, we we call it rim of pacific belt or you know plate or we can also call it ring of fire it is uh, the you know contact with you know Eura eurasian uh, continent and uh, uh, you know uh, eurasian continent and also uh, you know indo australian uh, plate in the southern uh, portion okay so uh, a well known strato volcano occurs in you know andes and you know cassadrian uh, ranges of you know united states and canada and saint helena mount arena and mount uh, you know gabrati and the volcanic island of western pacific from the um, uh, you know islands of japan and philippines and new zealand are part of strato volcanoes then you have caledra volcano this is how caledra volcanoes looks like okay this is a you know sketch diagram of caledra volcano and this is how it looks like in actual uh you you know this structure okay so caledra are you know bowl shaped uh, you know collapsed depression formed by volcanic process so um, caledra most likely results from one or three collapse type of e you know uh, events like collapse of summit uh, you know following an explosive eruption of a uh, silica rich uh, you know pumice and ash uh and all the pyroclastic products uh then you have collapse of summit following from you know sub uh, subterranean uh, or you know uh, what do you call um, fissures drain it uh, draining the magma into the chamber and then you have collapse of large or uh, um, area flowing the discharge of silica rich pumice and ash along uh, the ring uh, feature that may or may not have any uh, been Uh, you know previously been uh, active uh, active volcanoes so uh, crater takes uh, you know lake in you know uh, oregon is an example of 700 year old uh, you know caledra that forms from the eruption of the collapse of mount uh, mazam Ma mazama and uh, today it is you know filled with you know filled with rain water and forms a lake 
as uh, you know um, a small circle cone and name it as a wizard island to so some um, inside uh, the calendra and uh, you know today it has been uh, seen uh, and at today's time it is merges as an island into the uh, or a uh, by the lake so it looks more like an island inside the uh, mm -hmm. lake okay then you have many other you know calendra on hawaiian uh, vol you know, volcanoes formed from uh, magma drain through fissures in, in central magma chamber and summit eventually collapses so Yellowstone National Park contains the calendra that is, you know, uh, 43 miles across are uh, formed with an, in, you know, uh, intense uh, pyroclastic eruption that it you know, rejects ash fragments as far as Gulf of Mexico. Lava dome. So lava dome are rounded uh, like this and uh, like it is shown in this image. And mount built up by in a very viscous magma that is you know, resistant to flow and built up the forming uh, domes. So magma does not move from one uh, place or one vent before cooling it, and is you know and it is completely crystallized for a uh, you know, roughly regularly or uh, use or you know it is formed into more like a basaltic rocks. So, uh, a single lava dome may form, uh, may be formed by multiple lava uh, flow that accumulate over time. So, a volcanic hotspot. So, what what are volcanic hotspots? Just so on. So volcanic hotspots. Volcanic hotspots occur when a uh, mass of magma uh, ascends towards the earth. Okay, so it ascends to when a ma mass of magma is ascending towards uh, earth surface, as a mantle plume rises the ba you know basaltic magma. So this uh, you know uh, generates volcanic activity uh, at, at a locally uh, specific site. Okay. So uh, the hotspots do not occur along the plate boundaries, but instead forms a interplay uh, volcanic features characterized by magma upwelling. So once a hotspot generated is, you know, um, it may uh, stay active for millions of years, but hotspot may produce thermal effect on uh, in the groundwater and the you know crust producing thermal power uh, often in the form of the steam it it comes out so the island and uh, italy thermal power station is used to generate electricity for industrial and municipal use through uh, these areas so hawaiian islands moved uh, over about you know 5 million years from a you know hotspot in you know a spe in pacific ocean so as the Pacific plate moves uh, over a hot spot. It uh, generates a chain of island, and that emerges uh, and as a sea mount or uh, above uh, the you know ocean surfaces. And how uh, hot activities is currently most uh, uh, you know active in the biggest you know big islands like Hawaiian Islands. It's an archipelago of islands. Then we are going to see to see is like neck of volcano. So volcano necks are you know uh, remnant of you know 
cooled lava pipes that are exposed over extensive period so volcanic mountain is weathered on in a and eroded so volcanic necks are exposed for example it is what we have seen in uh, areas like you know um, in south american uh, regions so like uh, magma cooled in you know the interior pipe of more, for more resistance than the rejected deposits and the accumulation of the uh, you know ex- of the you know exterior as uh, a result when the volcanic mountain eroded it left behind a remnant more than a volcanic neck so uh, like if you can see in this image it is more like a chimney so it is not a volcanic neck it looks like more like a a palatal area okay so uh, that uh, that being said the you know ship rock uh, is a volcanic neck of a solidified volcano from you know and uh, you know and uh, which has been formed about 40 million back years back so it it elevates about 72 uh, you know 178 feet above the sea level with a you know royal relief of about 18000 uh, feet so it is um, you know it lies in, in the southwest of the uh, you know con- town of or the country or the state you belong that your uh, you know uh, shiprock of mexico and uh, you know was made of any 19th century uh, chippers or not that can be found out okay so uh, then taking forward our lecture we will also cover uh, some uh, ideas about uh, other disasters as well just hold on one minute